Melbourne Storm's big man Nelson Osafa Solomona and some Melbourne Storm officials made the trip north to Sydney to contest the grading of his dangerous tackle charge. Careless high tackle grade three is what was <coughs> given. They were hoping to get it down to grade one at the judiciary tonight. Let's head there now, live to Emma Lawrence. And Emma, you've got some breaking news. Yeah, James, we got the final verdict about 10 minutes ago. So Nelson Asofa Solomona had an unsuccessful trip here to the judiciary. He cops a five match suspension, but most importantly, it means he will miss the grand final on the weekend. Look, he was always going to be up against it. As you mentioned, grade three, he was trying to get it downgraded two whole levels to a grade one. And I spoke to Mido this afternoon. He said that had only happened once before in the NRL era. Essentially, they had very lengthy arguments. The NRL counsel was trying to argue that Nelson made absolutely no attempt at all to lower his body height. And there was significant force, which resulted in Lindsay Collins getting that Category 1 head knock. Nelson's lawyer, Nick Gabar, was arguing, uh, firstly, <coughs> the fact that he thought most of the contact was actually from the front or the chest, not actually from the shoulder. Secondly, that Nelson was stationary. So most of the force came from Lindsay Collins charging into the line. Uh, and also that you can't exactly take the Category 1 head knock as a direct correlation to force because he brought up the fact that Lindsay has gone off for HIAs one in every 10 games. They also then brought up a, a comparable tackle that was from Val Holmes on Payne Haas in State of Origin this year, which was deemed to be a grade one. Nick Gabar was arguing, in fact, that was more forceful, more dangerous. But uh, when the NRL tonight, the, the committee handed down their verdict, they said they actually thought grade one was incorrect for that anyway. But look, James, at the end of the day, Nelson will not be playing in the grand final. It is a huge blow for the Melbourne Storm. And, and no doubt the Panthers and their fans would have been watching this one with interest as well this evening. They certainly would have been. Emma, thanks so much for your coverage there. From NRL headquarters, just reiterating that news, the grade three uh, dangerous high tackle, careless high tackle charge stands for Nelson Asafa Solomona. He will not be featuring for the Storm. Gal, your verdict on that verdict? Oh, look, I don't think it's right. <coughs> I, haven't, I haven't thought they've even been charged, that the charge was right in the first place. I mean, I, I can cop the 10 minutes in the Symbian and, and I can cop a fine. I think had he been fined, that there would be no issue. I, Martin Lang is, is a former player, a great, tough player, played for Cronulla. Uh, and the Panthers, he's had a lot of head knocks in his time and he has a, a lot of good theories on, on this sort of stuff. Now, he's come out and said himself that they don't think they've got the grading of this right. And he's very pro uh, the, the, the head knock part. He doesn't want to see it taken out of the game. He wants to see blokes charged for it. But he, he said himself, he, they got that wrong. The charging of that was wrong. And look, I, don't, I don't even think it was forceful. I do think it hit him with the front of the, the, front of the shoulder, peck front of the shoulder. I don't think to be missing any game of football for that is harsh. But I don't care if it's a grand final or not. He shouldn't be missing footy for it. I think 10 in the sim didn't find him, and I don't think anyone complains. Gus, I know you've got a similar view. Were you surprised that it didn't even maybe get put down to a two? Uh, well, I don't know what they argued there. I think they tried to get it down to a one. I don't know if they can downgrade it to a two if you haven't asked for it. Gotcha. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's very, very hard to win down there in those sorts of circumstances. Interesting what the prosecutor said. He said he made no attempt to lower his height. Now, the first tackle of the uh, semi-final of the week before between Manly and Roosters, the young Manly centre went in and lowered his height and knocked himself out and ended up off the field. So I want to know how the prosecutor thinks that tackle should have been affected without risking injury to himself. This whole conjecture about tackle technique, tackle height and the responsibility of the tackler not to make contact with the head, I get very, very dark on every time there's an injury or someone gets hit in the head that we think we've got to punish someone for it. We don't. Some things are just absolutely accidents. And some players stand up to it better than others. At the end of the day, most of the tackles from these ones where players are knocking themselves out is the bloke making the tackle. Because he is too low and he has got his head down in the wrong position. We saw that twice in the first 20 seconds last week where the man making the tackle got knocked out. All right? A sofa Solomona went in to tackle that collision. Lindsay Collins brought the conclusion on, he ran at them, right? He knew exactly who he was running at. And I don't think he hit him with his shoulder at all. I think Lindsay Collins did most of it to himself. Now, people who don't play the game or, or, or they don't like a sofa Solomon or the Melbourne Storm will argue that that's incorrect. But I'm just telling you, I believe that it's way too harsh and he shouldn't be missing a game of football so, for that. And where, where the prosecutor or the game claims he should have tackled differently, show me how without risking injury to himself. As we saw the week before... The two blokes who made the tackle and lowered their own height, what happened to them? They ended up in the, in the HIA bin. So it's something that's, 
it sort of suits the purpose at the time rather than the tackle itself. Hurt. How big a setback for the Melbourne Storm from a purely football? They can't win without him. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Agree? Uh, I don't know about that. It's a no. huge penalty. I can't say that. It's it, a look, huge penalty. It's a big penalty. And I, he should be playing as we both think. But I, I, I still think the Melbourne Storm can win. It's All a right. huge penalty. 